It's good enough. Uh, in previous class, we discussed about the why alkyl halides are less reactive for nucleophilic substituent reaction than alkyl halide. So, anyway, finally, alkyl halides are less reactive towards nucleophilic substitution reaction. So, we have to continue for this one. So, alkyl halides, alkyl halides are involving in involving in a nucleophilic substitutional reactions in drastic conditions drastic conditions why basically they haven't interest to participate in the nucleophilic substitutional reaction but we want to make them we want to make them which we have to maintain a drastic condition what is the meaning of drastic at a, a special conditions we have to maintain high temperature high pressure then only they will be participating in the nucleophilic substitution reaction this is what i am telling rel halides were involved in the nucleophilic substitution reaction but naturally will not be proceeding because they are less favorable for them but can be proceed at drastic condition means at a special conditions Okay, just you see, for example, I am giving one example for you under this one, uh, Dow's process. Dow's process. We will repeat that uh, in coming lesson, it is under phenols. So, first of all, we have to take the chlorobenzene. Chlorobenzene will be there. It is involved in the reaction with the NaOH. That too is nothing but the aqueous NaOH. You know very well. Aqueous NaOH is acting as a strong nucleophile. Strong nucleophile means what it will produce? OH minus will be producing. So that OH minus will be acting as a nucleophile. But it cannot easily attack in on this one. Why? It is less favorable for the nucleophilic reaction. But you have to make it. It's hard to maintain some special conditions like uh, around 623 Kelvin temperature and around uh, 300 atmospheric pressure for the maintain imagine. Normal pressure is how much? One atmosphere. At one atmosphere condition, the reaction will not be possible. But I want to make it. I want to make it means you have to maintain some drastic condition you have to maintain. Some required conditions you have to create. That's what we call it as special condition. Then what happened? This chlorine will be coming outside as like a plus and minus. This plus is generated with the OH minus. Then we are getting which compounds we are getting? Phenols we are getting. After formation of the phenols, which is coming outside, minus NaCl. Are you ready? Now, yes, still continue, she said, not observe very carefully. So, by doing something in this RL halide, no need to maintain the drastic conditions. Means, by presence of, very, very important amount, by presence of uh, some electron withdrawing groups, by presence of electron. Withdrawing groups, electron withdrawing groups in RL halides, in RL halides, they can easily, they can participate, they can participate in nucleophilic substitutional reactions even at a, even at a normal conditions normal conditions did you got my point your the hell halide will not have any special groups on that one then if you want to proceed the nucleophilic substitution you have to maintain some classic condition now what i am telling you by presence of some electron with the drawing groups in rl halides they can participate in the nucleophilic reaction even in a normal condition can you give the example for electron withdrawing groups? They always receive electron from others. Can you give an example? Highly electronegative atoms containing the groups like NO2, like aldehydes, you know very well ketones, yes, like that CN, cyanide. These all groups is considered as a electron withdrawing groups. Whatever you are giving from that, they will receive the electron. Okay, now for example, I am taking a chlorobenzene, I am taking. Okay, on this chlorobenzene, I am taking at ortho position NO2. What happened? This reaction will be going very easy, will 
no need to maintain some special condition. Why because at this position, what will be there? A electron with the right is there. We have to observe very carefully what it will do. It will pull the electron from the ring. Then ultimately, what happening? This y electron will be shifting towards this one. Then ultimately, at this halogen having carbon gets discharge, positively charge. Enough. That positive charge is attracted by. Okay, for example, you take one more uh, withdrawing group at another position and generate a half one para position and move to group is at para position. Okay, to do this and the group, it is easily participate in the new group for the reaction even at normal condition. Why? Yes, it is electron withdrawing group, it is pulling the electrons. Automatically, what is happening? The shifting towards the NO2 group, like this. After shifting, this halogen connected carbon gets discharged. The positive charge is only we want for attacking of a nucleophile. Very easy. Are you ready now? So that's why whenever the allied allies are having electron withdrawing groups on them, they can easily participate in the nucleophile substitute reaction even at a normal condition. I will give you one example. It is nothing but you take a, a trinitro chloromethene. So this is the chloromethene. On this uh, three substituent positions will be taken with the NO2 groups. Do you know the name of this chemical? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. What are the name? 2, comma, 4, comma, 6, uh, trinitro, very good, and the uh, chloropengene. Chloropengene. Yes. Now I want to react, I want to do substitution, just use water, just dissolve in water and just uh, keep on warm heating. Just warm condition, not requires much temperature. Going very naturally. Take this off and add some water, automatically product will be coming to nucleophilic substitution. From water, what is the nucleophilic? OH minus. The OH minus is easily attaching like this. Or halogen having copper, why because these all groups are pulling, then possibility here, more positive charge. Then what happening? The OH minus will be attacking here, Cl minus is coming, Cl minus will be coming with the H, and H will be coming also. After that, what we are getting is on this compound, we are getting very easily OH particle, NO2 and NO2 and NO2. We need to write just a delta, just warm. A little bit high temperature than normal temperature. So, what is the name of this chemical? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. What is the name? 2, comma, 4, comma, 6, trinitro. You know, this compound is calling as one special name. On benzene, OH is there. It is calling as a phenol. 2, 4, 6, trinitro, phenol only. We are commonly calling as picric acid. Picric acid is a yellow color crystalline solid. Yellow color crystalline solid. Crystalline solid. Crystalline solid. It's a very important thing. Finally, did you got my concept? If you take normally L halide, they are less favorable for the nucleophilic reaction. So there is no other group on this L halide if you want to proceed nucleophilic substitute reaction, you have to maintain some special condition. Now it will be going very easily when the compound has a electron with the groups. Because of presence of electron with the groups, what it is doing, pulling the electrons towards itself, the automatically halogen connected organ definitely getting positive charge that it is easily adapted with the nucleus. So that's why if, if you take trinitro chlorobenzene, yes, it will be proceeding to the nucleophilic substitute reaction at the normal conditions only. Why? Yes, three with trinitros is there, we are getting easily positive charge here, that is easily attacked with the nucleophile. Then we are getting two, four, six trinitro phenol, we are getting, that's only we are calling as picric acid, which is calling as yellow color crystalline solid. With this, what will be over? Nucleophilic substitutional reactions will be over. All of you please. This nucleophilic substitution reaction information is over. Now we are discussing about the electrophilic substitution reactions of aryl halides. So very important thing. Second category of chemical reactions of aryl halides. Electrophilic. Electrophilic substitutional.
reactions of allied halides. I think you have some idea regarding the electrophile. Electrophile is denoted by E plus. Yes, in that plus sort of meaning is it, you know. So when we are getting positive charge after losing something means these electrophiles or electron rich or electron deficient are electron deficient particles. Electron deficient particles. Electron rich particles is falling as a nucleophiles. Electron deficient particles is falling as a electrophiles. Okay. Now positively charged particles will be involving in the a uh, substitution that's why yes, electrophilic substitution reactions of allied halide. Why? Why? Because you see carefully why allied halide are more favorable for the electrophilic substitution reactions. You have to observe very carefully. C, take the uh, chloroventin easily. On this uh, halogen atom is there, chlorine has three lower base on it. They will see like that. No? What they are doing? First of all, this lone pair and this pi electron will be repelled. Then automatically this pi electron will be shifting like this. Okay, then I am writing the resonance structures. In this what we are getting, ah, at this position we are getting minus, the remaining bonds will be as this. After that we are getting here plus. This plus will be fulfilled with lone pair. Means anyway, only duality electrons to positive charge plus by what happened here? New bond is forming. So after new bond formation, more will get six charge, positive charge. Why? Duality electrons. Yes or no? After that, what happening? Still we can get the resonance surface. Anybody? Anybody? Yes, this pi electron towards negative one, away from negative one, away from negative. Because negative negative ripple. Then what we are getting? Top particles as it is, we are getting double bond with chlorine and getting a positive charge. After shifting like this, we are getting plus. Plus and minus what? Adjacent together. Adjacent together means they will form a new bond. Minus and we are getting This is the resonance structure which we have in the first thing. So still we have one more resonance structure. Anyway, again this pi electron shifting like this. After that we are getting here plus, here minus. Right, it first. We are getting a benzene ring as it is. After that, a double bond Cl plus and here bond, uh, here minus here plus, no, we form a new bond. After shifting like this here, we are getting minus charge. Is it still? No, it is not stable. Still, we want. This is what happening. This pi electron again shifting towards chlorine and towards Riga. Towards chlorine because of positive charge attracts. So, after shifting like this, at this ring carbon, we are getting positive charge, positive and negative or side by side adjacent, so they will form a new one. Are you getting or no? Yes, we are getting a new one here. So, show you like this. After that, what happening? This pi electron shifting like this, already plus is there, you will be coming minus. On same angle, both positive and negative charge is there, cancel together, then we are getting finally C. This is evident why allied halides are easily involved in the electrophilic substitution. Why? Because anybody. So attacking species which charge you are positively charged. Positively charged particles is easily attacking all these uh, uh, structures or on this molecule. Why? In this molecule, which charge is having by being negative charge? Those negative charges is very favorable for attacking all positively charged particles. Are you clear? So that's why in case of allied halide, already we told uh, why allied halides are less reactive for nucleophilic. This whole chlorobenzene or halo again are negatively charged. So attacking of nucleophile will be difficult, but attacking of electrophile will be easy. Why? Because the whole body is negative, then a positively charged particle is easily attacking. Same concept we are explaining. So in these structures, the substitution will be taking place way. That's a very important concept. You know, first of all, are though meta para positions. If you take a benzene ring already on benzene, we have one special item like hydrogen. Adjacent positions we are calling as a rich position setting. All the positions. Adjacent to the special item is calling as other positions. 
Next, uh, positions is calling as meta positions. This is also meta position. Quite object position is calling as Next position is calling as a meta, and uh, next uh, quite the opposite position is calling as a para. Now, in this chrome engine or alloy halide, we are getting negative charges at which position? Ortho position and as well as para position. Ortho, para, ortho. So that's fine. In case of alloy halides, what do that point to me? In case of alloy halides. Rail halides, uh, negative charge is at uh, which positions? Ortho positions and as well as para positions. So what happening? What happening? So LR profile E plus can uh, attack can attack at the ortho position and as well as which positions? Para positions. So that's why in case of LR halides, what happening? Electrophilic substitutional reactions will be at which positions? Ortho position and as well as para position. But which is relatively stable? You see, if you take ortho product. Ortho product means what? You have a one special atom here. Ortho position means here one. You take one more is nothing but para product. Para product means what? Already x is here. Why I am taking quite opposite position, which is more safe. Para why? In case of ortho product, the two substituents are very close together. Whenever they are very close together, between them repulsions will be high. If repulsion will be high, energy will be high. Energy will be high, stability will be less. So always in all compound, all the product stability will be less. But in case of para, this X and Y substrates are very well separated. Okay, because of having maximum space between them, repulsion will be less. Repulsion is less. Energy will be less. Energy will be less. Stability will be hard. That's why uh, stability will be of para product will be high. So that's why always para product is more stable than the ortho product. But actually here we are getting both ortho and para but relatively para product quantity will be major. Ortho product will be minor. All of you clear? So finally conclusion is what? In case of parallel halide, if you observe all these resistance structures, we are getting the two charges at ortho position and as well as para position. So those radio charges is favorable for attacking of electrophile this one. In case of LL halide, the electrophilic substitution reaction will be positive at ortho position as well as para position. Out of further para, which is the most stable always para, because the two groups are well separated, the repulsion will be less in this calling and steric index. The repulsion from India are calling as steric hindrance. Hindrance. Uh, because the two uh, well separated uh, groups, uh, what happens? Steric hindrance will be less. This repulsion will be less. Stability will be high. All of you clear? Yes. Now, I will give you some chemical properties of electrophilic substitution reactions I am telling you. First, electrophilic substitution reactions is nothing but a reaction with chlorine. Reaction with the Cl2. Listen the concept very carefully. So, first of all, we have to take the chlorobenzene. Chlorobenzene will be reacted with chlorine in presence of Lewis acid. Lewis acid. You know, generally AlCl3 is acting as a Lewis acid. And yesterday we used one more FeCl3 is also acting as a Lewis acid because it's always having a tendency to receive the electrophilics. Okay, now whenever chlorobenzene will be treated with chlorine in presence of Lewis acid, we are getting two products we are getting. Substitution will be where and where. What is it? Ortho position, yes or no? Another one is at where? Para position. 
chloride will be coming here uh, coming here what do you see one two dichloro will be dissolving as one four dichloro will be no sir i will use ortho para ortho dichloro benzene ortho dichloro benzene uh, what do you see quite a less nothing but para para dichloro benzene para dichloro benzene and no sir i will use numbering one two dichloro benzene this is 1 2 3 4 no sir i will use anti clockwise use it 1 4 dichloro benzene but relatively it is a major para is a major why because stability will be high this is the which one minor product because steric hydrates will be more repulsion is more so stability will be less are you clear so this whole things will be going to which uh, which uh, mechanism electrophilic substitution reaction Yesterday I gave an explanation for this one. Electrophilic substitution reaction will be going in three stages. For first one, generation of electrophile. Next, attracting of electrophile. Next, removal of excess particle. We will get it by going in second one. Or otherwise, can I explain? Ah, first step. What is that one? Generation of electrophile. From where? Combination of AlCl3 and Cl2. AlCl3 will be involved in the reaction with chlorine and chlorine. What happening? ALCl3 is acting as a Lewis acid, has a capacity to receive the lower base. So then shifting will be going like this. You are getting like minus and plus, which is rich Cl minus. Cl minus is taken by ALCl3 because electron base is missing. After that, what will be getting? Cl plus. This particle will be as is. And after that, ALCl3 and Cl, Al, Cl4 and minus. This positively charged particle will be your calling as electrophile. Yeah. Second step, what is that one? Take the chlorobenzene. Chlorobenzene. Okay. After that, what happening? This bond is by electrons shifting like this, not towards chlorine because they are lower base and much together. After that, we are getting discharge here plus here we are getting minus, which is attracted by which one? The negative charge is attacked with positive charge particle, nothing but electrophile Cl plus. This is only acting as a electrophile. Okay, after that, what happening? You know, Cl plus will be attacked by negative charge. Then we are getting uh, uh, this six membered ring, and after that, here positive charge, and here chlorine. After that, here chlorine. The remaining bonds will be as this. What I told second step: formation of the carbocation, nothing but positive charge carbon. Third step is what? Removal of excess particle. Removal of excess particle with this step base. Okay, how is that one? You take the carbocation. So very carefully, very simple things is all. Yes, here positive charge is there. Here like this. Now it is reacting with which one? AlCl4 minus. So AlCl4 minus is always ready to accept the excess. From where? You see carefully. This carbon has one more hydrogen. Are you getting that? Why? Because right now has only three bonds. Still, it has a, 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 a chance to exist a hydrogen. Then what happening? This CNH one electron shifting towards ring one. Ring carries here positive charge. That's why we are attached. Then we are getting here minus, which is coming outside H plus. This H plus how it is going on? AlCl four minus H plus. Is becoming like how AlCl3 again starting from what you are getting one H to one Cl is becoming like this. Okay, after that over. Now ring is getting here minus here plus. They are adjacent together, opposite charges. What they will do? Again will form a new bond. That means we are getting again pi bond here and here one chlorine here one chlorine there. Like that, although and if you can do migration here and here, we are getting negative here. They are also going to attack it, and we are getting para products. All of you clear? So all electrophilic substitution reactions will be going in three stages. One is a generation of electrophile, attacking of electrophile, and removal of H plus particle. All will be common for this one. Okay, just I will give you some uh, complicated model for the last two. Just in check it. Uh, if you take one of the six-membered ring saturated, here we have 
we have Cl and here CH3 we get it. So it is involving in the reaction with uh, aqueous KOH and uh, alcoholic KOH. Is it giving same product? No. Why? Alcohol means what happening? Elimination and substitution. It's undergoing very drama. It is involving through elimination reaction. The two going to be true, say Jeffrey. Ah, do that one first. What happening? Elimination means compulsory from here, halogen will be eliminated out of it. Okay, that halogen connected carbon has left side one connection or above one connection, below one connection. We have to remove the hydrogen from any one of the carbon atoms that should be according to Sage of Root. What Sage of Root is telling? Always hydrogen should be eliminated from the lesser number of hydrogen atoms having carbon that should be adjacent to halogen connected water. Okay, here what is the possibility for number of hydrogen atoms? Two. Why? Only two bonds is there. Two more bonds with which one? Hydrogen. Uh, here what is the possibility? Only one hydrogen atom. Because already three bonds is there, one more bond with hydrogen. Now, preferentially, hydrogen atoms should be removed from lesser number, means from down. That's why you remove this one and this one. What we are getting here? Double bond. That only right out here, we are getting uh, like this, and here CH3. And both are it is reacting with aqueous. Aqueous means what happened in the substitution reaction will be going on. Which is undergoing substitution, this halogen particle is nucleophile. What nucleophile is coming here? OH minus. That's it. Then we are getting product is nothing but the six number ring. Here we are getting OH 